I am Blue Dragon from Twitch, and today I want to do a deep dive into Valheim's 2021 roadmap. As you can see here, we have four updated sections. Hearth from Home, Cult of the Wolf, Ships of the Sea, and a new biome, the Mistlands, which technically is already in the game. We also have a section called If Odin Wills It. I honestly don't think that if Odin wills it is more of a, hey, if we can get to this later down the road ideas, I think they're incorporated within the updates that will be things that they wish they can add to these um, updates one, two, three, and four. All right, again, this is going to be a deep dive. So spoilers warning right here, right now. I'm going to give you three seconds. So go away if you don't want any spoilers, because I am going to dive into some topics that are some later game, mid-game content. So, warning over now. All right, update one, Hearth from Home. I think Hearth from Home is just going to be plainly updates to building, uh, maybe some more items to build, and some more functionality in the home and in the building process simple i don't think it's really actually going to take too much into some of the if odin wills it section maybe some multiplayer interactions to kind of go with that some like emotes and stuff like that and combat improvements maybe can go in there i really do think some of these are kind of in order if you really look at it so let's get further into it let's go ahead and go to update two uh cult of the wolf so again spoilers if you haven't made it to the mountains yet there are werewolves that come out at night I don't think Cult of the Wolf is going to be about wolves. I think it's going to be about werewolves. Because then if you look down in an Odin wills it, we have moon phases. And what do we know about werewolves? Full moons and werewolves go hand in hand. So I think that update two is definitely going to be some kind of thing about werewolves. Uh, hopefully introducing also moon phases into the game. Update three, ships and the sea. So obviously the game is kind of pointed towards other things about uh, furthering on with the sea content. They've talked about nine biomes and being being a boss for each biome. We already know what some of those are, but I don't want to go yet into that because we haven't gone to update four with the Mistlands. Uh, but I think eventually update three, we're going to get some improved ships and probably a ocean boss. I really do think that. And if we do, again, super deep dive um, on update three, ships at sea, at below in the Odin wills it, we have tar pits. Now, if you didn't know that Vikings, obviously ships at sea were superior because of their naval abilities. And if you didn't know that they actually use tar on their ships to make them more waterproof and to strengthen the bonds in between the wood. We can definitely do a wiki deep dive on this. I had to, I was like, why is tar pits even on here? Now I know why tar pits are on here, and that's why I'm putting those together. All right, update four, new biome, Mistlands. So if you've been to the Mistlands already, we already see spider webs everywhere, some like spider web wobbles everywhere. And the one big thing I'd like to point out, literally, is that there are giant skulls and normal sized skulls all over the ground there. You can find the giant skulls just as common as you find rocks and almost anywhere else in Valheim. And in the Odin wills it section, we have, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing this correctly, is the Solvtar Fur Brigands. So that race is basically the same thing as what we know from like the Thor Marvel series as the Dark Elves. Um, fun fact that the Dark Elves and the Dwarves, which better not really known as dwarves. They're just dwarf-like. And uh, as Peter Dinklage's character in Thor, um, that they kind of go hand in hand in the Viking lore. So also the trees are very swamp-like, but like three times the size of swamp trees in the Mistlands biome. So I'm, I'm what I'm really thinking is that the Mistlands are actually the realm slash biome for the dwarves, but the dark elves have taken over that. And not sure where the spider webs quite are coming from. I'm I'm hoping for some kind of crazy looking spiders or something, maybe some kind of pet or creature or mount for uh, the dark elves. And 
we're going to get basically some story or some stones that kind of explain how the Dark Elves have wiped out the dwarves in that area. All right. For the kind of things that we kind of skipped over or haven't gotten to yet on the Odin Wills, that kind of finishes the section for the update one, two, three, and four. Um, but to go into the Odin's wills it a little bit more vendor inventory expansion. I think that's just going to go to the trader that we have already, or maybe in the Mistlands we'll actually find a dwarf that's alive and he will be a, another person that we can trade with, which I think would be cool that we have a second trader, um, in another location that we can find and kind of hunt down like we did with the first merchant. So I think that'll be really, really cool. The more unique locations, I don't think that's going to be anything in particular. I think that's going to be kind of like a broad brush stroke kind of thing. I think we we'll get more Cult of the Wolf, more Ships at Sea, the Mistlands. I think that's just more things like the stone circles and the and the rock boats and stuff like that. I don't think that's going to be anything in, super in particular. I just think it's going to be more randomization items that spawn throughout your procedural world. Sandbox mode obviously is just sandbox mode where you can try to build something in a separate world or something like that, just like Minecraft or any other building game. It's nothing to be super unique, but I know there's people out there who are going to love to be able to build things without going into I'm a cheater. So if you don't know what I'm a cheater is, don't look it up. It ruins the game. Don't don't do it. I wish I never even knew it was a thing. I've never actually used it, but I wish I did even know it was a thing. I wish it's something the developers never put in it and they should have done sandbox mode right off the bat to negate people from doing I'm a cheater. And for the last Munmin, we have to actually, I had to go to Wikipedia for this one. Um, we already know who Huggin is in the game, um, but obviously here at the bottom, we have Munmin, which is the second crow of Odin's pair of crows that he's always been incorporated with. So to quote Wikipedia here, in North Mis mythology, Huggin, Thought, and Munmin, Memory or Mind, are a pair of ravens that fly all over the world of Midgard to bring information to the Viking god Odin. So we already have Huggin in the game. He's kind of our tutorial character teaching us how to, to play the game of Valheim. So if Huggin represents Thought, and Munmin represents Memory and Mind, and we're going to introduce Munmin into the game, I wonder if that's going to kind of give us some details on how we died and how we ended up in Valheim, or if that's just going to teach us more lore about the game. That's what I really think is going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be more of a Viking lore character, maybe almost like a, like a quest kind of thing, which I think would be kind of cool. Be like, hey, go get me this item and I'll tell you this. Hey, go go into this cave system over here. And you'll learn some knowledge over there and come back and I'll tell you more details, stuff like that. That's I, th I think memory in mind. I think that'll be really cool if we get some more lore, Viking lore, Norse lore out of the game. That'll kind of teach us some stuff. All right. That's it for the deep dive. I hope you uh, agree with me. If you don't agree with me or you do agree with the link, let me know down in the comments. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you like this kind of content or more conversations like this, we do do that live. So you're welcome to come over there. And also, you can also like, comment and subscribe on this video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.